All right, welcome back. We continue here. Bob and Andrew with you. We're going to go out to the lines right now. Pete and Squirrel Hill. Go Hi, ahead, Pete. Pete. Gentlemen, how are you tonight? Hey, Pete. Good. Uh, two, uh, two quick points, if I may. Number one, what kind of human being is Rudy Gobert? You touched on it like early in the show and everything. To do something like that, Bob, is unconscionable. Mm. And the thing about it, Bob, microbes have been a part of this planet, Bob, for four billion years, long before man has been here. There has been worldwide pandemics in the past. They will continue. It just happens to be one right now with the digital age and worldwide sports leagues are compounding it. I just feel bad for everybody, Bob. Say yeah. your prayers. Thank you. You know, the bottom line is safety matters first, first and foremost. And, yes, you're right. Because we're interconnected social media-wise, Andrew, I think this is taking a whole different. No doubt. Uh, you know, and it's, it's a fear thing. There are a lot of unproven stuff. You know, it's facts. That's what people want. Facts. They don't want fear. They don't want people saying stuff that isn't true. And I think that's what you get a lot of. Well, and with, yeah, exactly. With so much information out there now, you could read a tweet from one doctor who says it's a hoax, and then you could two seconds later read a tweet from a doctor that says keep yourself locked in your basement for the next month. It's so hard to parse through it all. Uh, so you know, that's the difficult thing. So I'm not, some, sometimes too much information uh, is not necessarily a good thing. So right. we're, we're, we're in a weird, kind of a whole new frontier here, Bob. And you know, the problem is, is that sports is such a big money, such an industry that affects so many people, too. It does. And, and you feel bad for people who are not going to be able to get a paycheck because these events are canceled and they make their money, uh, whether it's being a vendor at a game, a ticket uh, teller, anything like that. And if these are canceled, that means money out of their pockets. And um, it's not a good thing. The, the only good thing I saw today is that over in China, where they took extreme measures when they first found out about this, even though I think they had information earlier and they kind of suppressed it, but they finally did close schools, kind of quarantine everything, and you see that over the last couple of days, the death rate has gone down sharply. Yeah. So have the cases revealed. I mean, my hope is this, Bob. I hope they don't cancel the NCAA tournament and just end the NHL season and the NBA season. I mean, if like the Ivy League canceled its, its conference tournament. I don't want to see that. I want to see things pushed back, and then eventually once the dust settles, we're able to go back and, yeah. and finish these things on the court and on the field. And it's going to affect the way things go in hockey with the playoffs, too. We're going to find out. Anyway, let's go to Robert real quick, who joins us on the line tonight. Hey, Robert. Hi, Rob. Hey, Bob. I just wanted to uh, talk about the NBA and the NCAA. Uh, what are your thoughts on this whole coronavirus thing affecting the seasons of both the NBA and NCAA? Well, it already has, and it's probably only going to get worse, Robert. Uh, but I think sports don't matter when it comes right down to it. Uh, as much as I hate to say that, because like Andrew, I mean, we live for We're this time of the year. And this is what we do, and this is what you do when you watch it. It's entertainment. It's an ability to take yourself away from your problems on a day-to-day -day yep. basis. But more than anything else, Andrew, it's all about safety. People need to know. You can't have people sitting there side by side with one of them potentially with a coronavirus because you don't know. Yeah, and you don't want to expose athletes, and then somebody's career is, is, is upended or hurt right. uh, because of it. So, you know, I think at this point you have to proceed with caution and, and maybe the precautionary steps are, in the end, Bob, the right approach. Yep, we'll see. Uh, it's been a long day, and it's going to be a longer few days and weeks, and who knows how long it'll last. But that's going to do it for our program tonight. We'll keep you up to date always, KDKA and CBSN, which is the new function on KDKA.com. Check that out, uh, and we'll have all the latest coming up on KDKA TV News at 11 o'clock. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 1035. Good night.